All right, hello everyone, welcome back to PA Academy. So this is the second um, drawing we'll be looking at under oblique drawing. So if you missed the first part, the link to that video is in the description of this particular video. All right, so this is what we are going to be drawing. This, I already drew this in oblique, so I'm going to be showing you how to draw something like this in oblique. So this is like, a, uh, this is a rectangular box. Then the only difference here is this part here, is this part here. So I'm going to be taking you through how to draw this. So if you are new to this channel, please consider clicking on that subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Alright, so let's start. Let me just draw my straight line. And then the length from here to here is, as you can see, it here 40 millimeter. That's um, 4 centimeter. So I can just pick it from many points. So from here to here, that's 4. So I start from 18 to 14. That's the difference of 4. So I can go ahead and make that one good. So, taking out the ruler, so I still have my set square. Like I said, you can either use your, your set square or your T square, whichever one you have at hand. So, it's a fence line. So I've done that. So the length from here to here is 20 mm, which is two centimeter. So let's let's measure that two centimeter. And then the length from here to here is uh, 15 mm, which is 1.5. So let me note that. So here yeah, two centimeter. So let me also mark the two centimeter. All right. So I haven't done that. So just make sure that all the lines are parallel where necessary. So in this position, you set your set square, that's like 45 degrees. So from here, let me start with a thin line. From here too. So it's a thin line. That's from this point to this point. the length for here to here so let me just extend it okay so just shift it to the other side all right so the next thing we are going to do all right so since i know that the length from here from here to here is um is 40 millimeters so let me just measure that real quick so one two three four so so that's uh, 40 then also from here to here is 15 so let me also mark that point so which is 1.5 all right so i'll just set my set score the two of them like this so once I've been able to get this, remember I've measured from year to year to be two centimeter, from each year to be two centimeter. So once I have it in that position, all right. So let me just use a fifth line for it. So without, I'll just move the set square. I'll just slide it on the other set square. With that, I'll be sure of getting a parallel line. You 
know, once you understand the, the process, you know, there are different way, ways you can go about, about it in technical drawing general. This one that is coming down, so from here, it's coming down. So from here to here is one centimeter, that's 10 mm. So this is it from here to this. This line alone has made it one mm. So from that point. Intersection. So here, I'm still using fence line. I hope you can. I just hope you can see it. So from here, I draw it straight down. This one here. All right. So just if you are doing this something like this, uh, just make sure you are not confused. If you want to know if your work is correct, so if you look at it from all the projections I'm doing, from all the lines I'm doing, you can see that the intersections are, are correct. For instance, when I drew this line like this, and this one is meeting at this point, I hope you get it. So that's to let you know that for them to have met at this point shows that yes, the lines are parallel to a very large extent. Alright, so let's continue. So with what I've done so far, I can vividly tell you that so with what I have, I can really tell you that I've completed this drawing. So now let's now bring out the drawing itself using our wood line. So to start with, let me start with the external lines. So, so this, we make this bold. And then this side, which is this side. side okay so if you are finding value please give it a thumbs up if you have any question uh, do leave them in the comment section below Okay, 
sorry. This part is not supposed to be there. So, with what I'm having here, you can see that we completely replicate what we have here. This is it here. This is oblique. So this is 45 degrees. So let me just go ahead and indicate the, the dimensions. So from here to here, we have it to be 40 mm. From here, from here to here, we have it to be 20 mm, which is two centimeter. to be 40 mm so the length from here to here from this point to this point we have it to be um, so we have it to be 15 so we can just indicate it somewhere here 15 from here to here we have it to be 10 mm so it's always also important for you to make sure you indicate your dimensions in your drawing. So let me just indicate this here. From here to so here we have it to be 5 mm. That's the first part. So this, this, this is just it. We've just completed replicating. So if you find value in this, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to check.